Hey everybody and welcome back to the basement. Today we're going to talk about the Fly Sky FSI6 transmitter. It comes with the transmitter itself, a receiver which I already have mounted in my drone, and a bind plug which mounts the two together. This is one of the most basic transmitters on the market. It just has the two gimbals, the four trim switches, the four switches on the top, and the two knobs along with this display screen here. As you can see as I turn it on, up in the right corner of the display screen, there's the transmitter power bar, but it also shows you the volts at the bottom here. And then if you hold OK, you can get to this, the menu. First we'll go into system. You can change different models. I believe the transmitter itself can hold up to 20 different models or 20 different receivers connected to it. And then as you go down, you can go to the RX setup where you're gonna want PP, PPM on. Hold cancel to save it. You can check your RX batteries. I haven't had that much success with this, but I generally tend not to run my batteries very low, so maybe that could be the reason. Fail safe. You're gonna want this on. As you can see, my channel three that negative 99% that channel 3 is the throttle if if the transmitter ever loses connection to the receiver it's going to lower the throttle all the way to zero which will make your drone come to the ground and you will not get a flyaway and the rest of these settings I haven't really bothered with yet on the system page on this first one you can reverse your motors in case you soldered them backwards or for any reason. You can change your endpoints. I leave mine on the standard 100%. The display, I've used this a lot. It shows all the different outcomes when you move your stick so that you know that you're getting a signal and how accurate your, gyros, your gimbals are. Your aux channels, your aux channels. I have mine set up for switch A, which is up here, and then switch C, which is the three position one right here. They originally come set on these two knobs, so you're gonna wanna switch those if you're using this to fly a drone. Cancel out of that. And the rest of these, I don't really mess with any of these as well. Your throttle curve, maybe sometime I will, but you can also change that in the beta flight. So I'll probably do it in there if I ever change that. So now we're going to power on the receiver to just plug a battery into my drone. And immediately you can see it connects. You can see the RX battery power here, and then it also shows you the voltage there air 1% which is what you want I never had zero so one's the, is the best you can get sometimes when I flip it on I get an air of 60% but I just power it off and power it back on and it reconnects it right away usually after doing that once or twice I'll get a 1% air if I'm right next to it on the back is one port which you can use to connect up to your computer or use as a trainer port and here's the plug that comes with that. As you can see the four small pins in there. Originally this is the only piece I bought to use for the simulator package because I knew I had an aux cable here at home. But And then I was going to use the Smart Pro Pro Plus software. But when I plugged that into my microphone jack, I had very, very little success with that. So I ended up buying this cable here which comes with this USB connector I would highly recommend this once I got this I had no problems at all all these things are going to be linked in the description below especially this because I did not know what to get at first also the simulator package I use is FPV Freerider uh, you can use it right off download the demo right away to see if it works with your system which is what I did 
it seemed to work well so I ended up buying the five extra maps and also the ability to change the settings camera angle and throttle and things like that as you can hear right now the uh, transmitter is beeping that's because we haven't messed with it in a while and it wants to remind you that it's still on so if you just flip something or move something around it'll stop until the next time that you don't mess with it well thanks for watching this video if it Anybody has any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully I'll answer them.